Hi everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Misty with Adamson Equestrian and I'm here with Mike Castonia. He's the gated horse judge here at the ISHA show. And so we're just gonna ask him a few questions about gated horses because I don't know anything about gated horses. So um, what got you into judging in the first place? Well, I've had 30 plus years experience with gated horses and then uh, politically I got involved with different clubs and organizations mm -hmm. and then I decided to get my license. So. Yeah. Have you been judging for a long time? Probably around 25 years. Yeah, so that's a long while. time. Yes. What's What makes a different, like what's different between gated horses and like a regular walk trot canter horse? Uh, gated horses are known for their smooth ride and uh, for longevity on the trails, um, easy gait, everything like that, temperaments very mm -hmm. well, so they're a great beginner horse. Okay. Uh, also uh, an old folks horse, so yeah. if you have some back issues or mm -hmm. things like that, it's a, a lot smoother ride than the trot. Okay, so, yeah. okay. I know there's kind of a myth that because they look like they're so kind of crazy, right. um, a lot of people think that they are, you know, a little sure. high energy type horses, but that's not true. Not really. Um, you know, your performance type horses, the ones that uh, show in a, a more up in the divisions, mm -hmm. of course you want them a little more animated. Um, but in general, um, and then we have a, a gate in most of our classes called a trail walk, which okay. is where they're supposed to come all the way down mm -hmm. and just relax, which would be our walk that we would do mostly on a, on a trail ride type thing. So okay. we do have to show manners quite a bit in that. So. Okay. But yeah, they're disposition-wise, I have found, because uh, I've been involved in a lot of other breeds, but I've found that they are... You know, pretty much uh, even keel. Mm -hmm. and, uh, really Just good to, horses. Yeah, try to do a good job for you. Okay. This is probably going to be a really stupid question, but can any breed be a gated horse, or is it just, like, breed-specific? Um, the, the, any breed, um, you know, there are other breeds that can gate, okay? Because okay. Because they can do a little bit of a wreck as well okay um but primarily the gated horses that's what they're known for is that lateral okay. gait and uh, that's where you get the smooth ride okay i know i i have an arabian mm -hmm. and i know with arabians you can put um, special shoes on them right. which weighted shoes which obviously you don't want to put too much weight there are restrictions and stuff to keep the horses safe and happy but do you have to do special shoeing with these horses to get them to move like that? Not or is it really. something that's natural? Uh, my theory on the shoeing is it usually just enhances what gait they already were uh, born with. Okay. You know, confirmation wise, mm -hmm. um, it's really technical with the gated horses, the way they're put together. Okay. Uh, is where you're going to get and achieve the quality and gait. But shoeing does enhance and then there are different divisions and categories that you can put your horse into okay. with a little heavier shoe most nowadays the heavier shoes and all that mm -hmm. are pretty much non-existent yeah it's more people are going more with a, a natural you know foot and a yeah. natural shoe like a keg shoe yeah okay um do you ride uh-huh i mean sure do. I, I was that's kind of a stupid question. Five, five days a week. Yeah. yeah. So what do you look for? Or I guess if you were going into a gated horse class, what would, what kind of tips and tricks do you as a judge try to use to your advantage to make your horse look good? I always like to work on consistency uh, in their gait and their performance. Okay. And then... Um, the tricky thing about gated horses is the speed. A lot of times people say, well, I don't see them showing a change of speed. It looks like they're doing the same thing. Yeah. So I always try to achieve for the second gate, which um, would be called for, I try to really impress the judge yeah. <laughs> and impress, uh, you know, the overall performance of the horse by yeah. showing a, a decent and desired gate change. Okay. And then that's as for, real important. Uh, yeah, me. that's and what are the differences between the gates uh, for a gate? The gator trail horse? walk is just a normal relaxed walk, and then uh, depending on the breed, because there's several different gated breeds, mm -hmm. but they have a first gate which would be like a 
a, a ground covering walk, and we call that a flat walk. Okay. And then um, the Tennessee walkers have a running walk, which is the same gait, but mm-hmm. it's just in a faster speed. Okay. Um, and uh, then all gated horses can canter. Okay. And they do add canter in some of the classes. Mm-hmm. Now, the canter gets a little confusing to the horse if they're not built just right. If they're a little more on the lateral side, it's okay. harder for them to achieve that. But they do canter. Mm-hmm. And then there's other gates. There's a, a, what they call a show gate, which is just like a little faster rack. Okay. And, uh, yeah, on the rack, of course, as well. Okay. Yeah, I, I with my horse, obviously, you've got the four-beat walk and the two-beat trot and the three-beat canter. So is it four four beats for every single gait Correct. for a gated horse? Correct. Just at different speeds? Yep. Okay. And then a horse that tends to be more lateral and on the pacier side, mm-hmm. um, it changes. But then, you know, those horses usually are not as rewarded as high. Okay. Um, you know. Okay. But you can achieve the four-beat gait um, in, in all the gates. Yeah. It's pretty much the same. The walk and the rack are different timing, but it is the same one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Yeah. Okay. All right. Do you have anything to add for the viewers that are watching? Um, I would say if you've never tried a gated horse, uh, just look. The gated horse people love to give people kind of a test ride. They yeah. Call ride the glide ride. Okay. <laughs> uh, just to check it out and see the difference. And mm-hmm. a lot of times people are just really impressed and how yeah. how the feel of it is. Like you said, you know, they're kind of... It's different ride different than, ride yeah. than, than a trot and the speed's different so people really get hooked on it yeah I did as well I was raised on trotting horses mm-hmm. and then my uh, uh, aunt actually had a walking horse and I rode it for the first time when I was like 15 16 years old yeah and uh, I was just taken over by it. It was yeah. just really impressive. Especially the the, uh, the disposition. I really enjoyed the, the walking horse. Yeah. In general. So more like a pleasure ride. Yes. Than, yeah. yeah. That sounds pretty good to me. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, thank you so much yeah. for taking the time out to uh, teach us a little bit about the gated horse.